And this is the last day of 2019, so who better to talk about what has happened over the past year than somebody who draws about his thoughts in the newspaper four times a week for the uh, Times Picayune, New Orleans Advocate, our friend Walt Handelsman. Karen Swinson talked with him about some of his favorite cartoons from the past year. In today's Times Picayune New Orleans Advocate, you're going to find a whole page of some of editorial cartoonist Walt Handelsman's favorite cartoons, and he's here with us this morning to share them with us. And thank you so much for joining My us. To be here. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. You too. Was it hard to compile this list that you're going to show us? It was. There, there were so many topics this year, and I did about uh, 250 cartoons. So when it comes time to picking 10 or 11 or 12 for a page, it's it's really difficult. But I tried to pick some ones that sort of touched on every topic, ones that I thought were fun. Uh, I knew some of the ones were very popular on Facebook, so I did my best to compile them, and, and here's where we are. All right, let's take a look and go down memory lane. All right, well, the first one goes back to the non-call, and at the same time, the president was trying to build the wall. The wall wasn't very popular, so I'm saying, how can I make your wall, my wall more popular than this? I said, guy says, put Roger Goodell behind it. Doesn't the no-call seem like it was ancient history? It, it feels like a million years ago, and we're hoping there's no more problems with that yeah. as we approach the playoffs That's right. All this good year. calls, right? All good calls. Okay. So that was one. And this was uh, an ongoing story this year, the sewage and water board. So not only do they find a car or a few cars underneath in a drainage ditch, which was outrageous, but then they start pulling up stuff and they realize how old the pipes are. So I drew this cartoon, how old are these pipes? They just pulled that car out of there. And of course, it's always fun to draw, the, if you can draw the Flintstones mobile <laughs> in, a car, in a cartoon, that's pretty good. And you get the dome. So you got a, you got the trifecta here. By the courtesy of Fred's two feet. All exactly. right, let's get, see what we've got next. This oh, the poor Democrats. The Democrats uh, pull left, drift right, level out, stay in the center, hard left. So they're all over the place. We'll see how it goes. But of course, 2020 is the big election year. So that's going to be a major theme going forward. Do you forward. get, and I said poor Democrats, I don't mean anything by that, but it, because it's such a divisive um, you know, atmosphere now, yeah. do you get a lot of backlash or feedback regardless? Well, you know, as a political cartoonist, you always get a lot of feedback. Right. So uh, if I do a cartoon like this, I get feedback from my friends that are Democrats. And if I pick on Trump, I get feedback from my friends that are <laughs> Trump fans. So there's really no winning. And what I'm trying to do is just, you know, poke fun and, and have fun with the stories. But I mean, it has become very divisive and very, very touchy. But you know, this is my job and, and, uh, and I you, try and do my best in terms of doing satire about all this stuff. You do it brilliantly. Let's see what's next. Because <laughs> you do make us laugh when it's sometimes you'd rather cry. And this year I did a, a special series on climate change. And you know, it's, we live in a, in a state that's, um, you know, has big gas and oil interests, but we're also in an area that is constantly under threat of the growing problems with climate change. And we're really seeing it. I mean, this year the river was very high. It was uh, there was a possible hurricane coming. There had been a lot of, of scary stuff, in addition to all the problems with the sewage and water board. So I think this is a, unfortunately an ongoing topic, but I did a lot of cartoons on these. Not particularly funny, but mm. I thought uh, effective and at least I get to draw some fun faces in it. So it's, it's a tough topic. I was just gonna say, when you're doing it, is the, the goal to make us laugh or to make us think? Well, I think in a cartoon like this, it's just to make us kind of realize that this isn't a hoax. We're, we're living it. In Louisiana, we are really living this and we're seeing it all the time. So um, yes, there are some funny faces in there, but obviously that's not a funny topic, especially if your house is flooding, your car is flooding, Indeed. you're afraid about the city. Indeed. So You make powerful statements in a funny way. Now this Speaking one was of, of uh, obviously uh, the Ukraine stuff and we don't know how that's gonna sort itself out. I have right. a feeling how it's gonna sort itself out. But I thought this was, was an interesting way to do it because we actually had a crane problem here in New Orleans. So that was kind of on everyone's mind. And at the same time, I kind of liked the idea of the president being on a hook and at the same time saying that Biden was on a hook. So right. ongoing topic and again, so much tension and so much division over this whole thing. This made me laugh out loud when I saw it. One of the biggest stories of the year is the Popeye's chicken yeah, so sandwich. Sometimes, and I enjoy doing cartoons that are not about politics. Right. I do a, a bunch of stuff on the Saints and LSU as well. But this topic cracked me up because everybody was going to Popeye's. <laughs> there are long lines to Popeye's. So and true. it was Labor Day weekend when usually there are long lines to the beach. So I did, did this overhead view of everybody's it's going great. to Popeye's. There are two cars heading to the beach. And it was just fun. It's just fun. Levity. We all need it. Yep. All right, let's see. 
Now, another one, and we are huge Saints fans, as most right. people are. So when Drew went down in week two, we were horrified. We're like, oh, this right. is, you know, we have to readjust all our expectations. So this is probably me and all my buddies. Right, just and meanwhile, we have out. nothing to worry about and in hindsight. of course, the refs continue, even as of yesterday, to be sort of blind to what's going on. Right. So this was the hand specialist, the eye specialist, and the it anxiety specialist. It captures that initial anxiety. And Teddy did such a great I'm job. I was just going to say, then we had nothing so, to worry about. It was so amazing. It's <laughs> it been an amazing year. It was terrific. This is one about our oh, governor's yes. race. So here I have an uh, undisclosed person saying, I'll take the Trump costume. And then this, this couple says, that's Eddie Responi. And I think we have time for one more, and it's fitting, right? And the last one was, I do tribute cartoons occasionally, and so when Leah Chase and Dr. John both passed away, uh, I thought it would be nice to do this cartoon of them and the, the Creole cuisine, cuisine, Pearly Gates, and the few food and music here has just gotten really good. And, and yet everybody can relate to that, and I think everybody right. said that. It was, there was going to be music and food and Absolutely. fun up there Absolutely. with them, and sure. we're so grateful that you share your gift with us here in New Thank Orleans. You. Thank it's you. Fun. And Happy New Year to Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right. You can see more of Walt's favorite cartoons from the past year in today's Times-Picayune New Orleans Advocate, and as always, you can find his work online at NOLA.com.